Welcome back to Sunday Slips, the season-long competition between us three and Mr. Gutterstein, who called out sick today with a hip injury. The two winners, the most points at the end of the season, will send the two losers anywhere they want in the continental United States of America and make them do anything they want, and they can't return until they done did it. Start off, me and Gutter close. I think I'm up two points right now in the standings between second and third place, so there will be a battle to the very, very, very end. Huge, uh, huge for the rankings, being second and third. But um, Oh, yeah. Big on the Rams. I almost took them, too. So, I actually... When I, when I was going through my slip, I was like, all right, Rams, Commanders, definitely want a, a lot of the Rams offense. Then you also see the Niners and the Cardinals, and I haven't taken any Niners offensive players yet either. So I had to decide. I was like going back and forth. I originally had Stafford, Kyron, Cup, and the Rams offense. I'm like, that's too much. That could go wrong, you know, if one of them gets skewed the touchdowns. And then I looked at C-Max last game versus Arizona. Four touchdowns, almost 200 yards. And I was Easy. like, they'll probably go with that game plan again. Mm-hmm. But I thought about going Kyron and then Purdy Ayuk. But okay. ended up switching it, switching it out there. Doing the, You would have gone Ayuk over Debo. Yeah, because Ayuk also had a monster game against Arizona. And I feel like Ayuk and Debo's been a beast, obviously. But Ayuk and Debo, it's almost, it's not easy to predict. But when the defense goes heavy man, I feel like it's usually an Ayuk game. And heavy zone usually favors Debo. And... That's a, a Cardinals game plan, I think. So probably would have went Ayuk there. I was thinking about Cup or Puka, but I couldn't decide, so I just I just, I just, <laughs> just didn't pick go. a wide receiver this week. That was it. another tough one. But I feel like when they're on the field together, Cup typically has like the more upside range. Thing it also seems does. like Cup's finally healthy. Maybe like he's he's fully back. This could be like yeah. I mean, he had a great game last week. I could see him being fucking terrible again though. Yeah, right, right in uh, Tommy DeVito. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's Saints, so, Saints are so bad. Yeah, like the Saints, Saints are, are not so bad. good. They, I don't know who they could be favored they against. They shouldn't have covered that number against the Carolina Panthers, but Panthers are the worst team known to man. Oh, Forget oh, about balloons. your fucking balloons. We're not doing we're not doing balloons right now. Uh yeah. I, I like the Giants on that side. Tennessee I just took because I, I think Shroud's gonna be out. Yeah, and I think so. Be honest, at, minus three is not that deep. Yeah, Tennessee's at it, home. It's a little high. It's uh, a little bit, but again, like, like you're dude, you're Davis kind of Mills, playing three and a half. Yeah. David, yeah, it's fair. Like Titans, do you, I don't know why I didn't think of it. But that's a good one. I don't know. I don't, I don't really like the number, but I do think they win the game. Denver, Detroit, I think is an awesome game. Um, yeah, want to touch it? That I f- this is the one I feel most confident in for sure. Really? I mean, Denver's playing really well. Detroit's playing terribly. I feel like right now. Yeah, Denver is so low right now, but I think them losing to the Bears has now kind of taken the shine off of them a little bit. Like I think with each loss. Like, they were such a public darling, and I think with each, like, bad game, they were descending in the minds of people. And then, because I think we saw it a little bit with the Bears. Bears only being, like, two-and-a-half, three-point dogs. Yeah. And then after them losing, this kind of feels like when you get back in on the Lions, Jared Goff back at home, bad run defense. I do I do think it's, like, too many points, but yeah, it makes I mean. me like, nervous. I, I felt like this game should have been a three, three-and-a-half maybe. Four and a half feels like a lot. Like, the Lions defense has completely fucking exposed itself. It was, like, cool for, like, four weeks in the beginning of the year, and now yeah. it's back to what it was last year. Um, I think Denver's played, like, three straight home, uh, three straight games in domes, which is, like, kind of weird, and I kind of like that. Well, they were in L.A. Bit. They were just in L.A., weren't they? Is that not a dome so far? Uh, is it? Actually, there is a roof. Yeah, they might have owned it. Oh, right. I don't know if it's considered a dome, but there's a roof. Mm. Either I way. I think there might be a, um, a hybrid. Jared Goff turning over the ball a lot. But again, it's like Denver's a big turnover team too. Not top yeah, ten, exactly. It's easy to say like, uh, unlucky here, lucky here," but maybe that's just like their fucking mo, you know? Yeah. All right. No, I like it. I like it. Titans defense against uh, Davis Mills. Yeah. Mills. This is just a, a mill. I mean, Mills, Nico, Tank Dell. Yeah, that's like, fair. Their whole fucking offense is. I like never considered them, but I I think that's pretty nice. Uh, Mr. Tony, let's see who you did consider. Chicago All right. is your gold. I'm back in on the Bears. I, like I got it. scared off of them oh. last week. All in on the Rams. I'm all in on the Rams. But Bears. Oh, you took the whole Rams. I took there. the whole okay. Rams. But going back to the Bears, wow. the Bears are fucking back. And prior to, like, last year, all throughout, like, the, the Jay Cutler era and even the Mitch Trubisky era, I was so addicted to betting the Bears, and I'm, f- I'm going back to my old ways. I like you. I, I think, think they're a better team than people are giving them respect for right now. I think uh, I think Flacco is going to have his first like bad yeah. game here. I think he's going to have a bad game. Is gonna... Their defense is so banged up 
the Cleveland defense. Yeah. And I think Bears defense is playing pretty well. They haven't gone against like great competition, but they're performing. I thought even though like it's the Browns defense, like with that, I thought about playing Fields. Really? Yeah. That feels Didn't a little risky. Didn't do it. It it feels definitely risky. But I think um I also think like Fields is playing for a job. Eberflus is playing for a job. Flacco and uh Stefanski and the Browns, it kind of feels like they like they're playing a little bit with house money. Like they didn't expect to be this far anyways. But Bears, back against the wall. They're fucking desperate. They're hungry. God, I fucking love the Bears. Yeah, I don't I don't hate that at back all. Back in uh Trubisky. So if you if you notice, I actually went with the Trubisky theme. Bear, Steelers, Buffalo. Wow. Triple right. Trubisky. Oh, I did not notice. So what does he what's what does he owe the pleasure? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just like I basically bears are my gold, and then I was deciding between four others to put as like silver bronze. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Trubisky theme this week. Trubisky's all the way in. I feel good. I feel good with Pittsburgh. I don't know. I think I would have taken Indy. There. Indy's like kind of yeah. nice at home. They nah, really, really I, well I, at I'm home. not buying it. I'm not buying it. I mean, I don't want to buy either of those teams, but their defense is horrendous, and I think this is again kind of a time to buy in uh, the Steelers when they're dogs. They're coming off an embarrassing loss. Like, this is when Mike Tomlin shows out. You also, I think this is like the first week where two weeks ago, Kenny Pickett gets hurt in the middle of the game against Arizona. Trubisky gets thrown in halfway through. Okay, not great. You also have uh, New England on a short week, kind of a weird spot. Extended rest. Mike Tomlin after a bad loss. Now they're dogs. Give me the fucking Steelers. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like a lot of pep talk and not a lot of logic. This is how this is what you of, do though. A lot of bullshit. This is this is what you do. I mean, Indy, Indy to the moon. They let up. They let up points to everybody. Big TJ Naji Watt. Should I throw Najee up in here? Dude, him and Warren probably. Eating. <laughs> but um, I want to get your opinion on Buffalo Dallas. I had Dallas as it. my bronze, but I got off of it. You didn't want what? I didn't want. I had Dallas also. It just feels like such a such a storyline. Yeah, no, Dallas Dallas feels like a trap. The Plus narr- points. The narrative is crazy around this game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like everyone's on Buffalo. They're like, they're just going to be Whoever like the team. Whoever wins this is like, they're going to be the Super Bowl favorites. Yeah. Like, no one wants to play Buffalo if they win. Yeah, I just kind of think Dallas just played three home games. Now they got to go on a road, coming off the, the beatdown of the Eagles. Meanwhile, like, I think Buffalo being in a close game with the Chiefs, they're not, they don't necessarily have that, uh, emotional come down or whatever. I don't know. Bill it's just it's just weird that Bills are favorite here, so I'll, I'm not I'm riding with it. It is weird. I don't like it. And then uh no no uh I mean I guess you kind of Whoever wins this is it like MVP. Like Josh no. will jump into the conversation. No. Josh still has to win out. No, I don't think so. D- Dak can lose it here, but I don't the Bills still have to I don't remember the Bills remaining schedule. If they could get through this, all they really have is Miami. Sure. But they ha- like they have to win that one. Correct, but like because if they this don't win that one, one, there's a chance they don't even make playoffs, which, like, you're not giving an MVP to a guy who didn't make playoffs. But, but I agree, this is, like, the this is the tipping point. I think I'm calling it now. I don't think that's a bad bet, actually. I think if you were to bet on MVP right now for the value, Josh Allen's, like, best bet. Was his, what's his line? Last time I checked, it was, like, three or four to one. That three or four to one great. to win the MVP? Maybe. Maybe I'm tripping. That doesn't sound Maybe that it sounds was, like that I, I'm, I'm, okay. Does. No, no, I'm getting yeah. I think I'm getting confused with Bills to win the division. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I'm about to say that's like I feel like Jalen Hurts and or Purdy is like three to one right now. No. I mean Dak I think is Dak and Purdy are like even money, I think. No. No way. Dude, it's like a two horse race between Dak and Purdy right now. You mean they have even odds or even money? It's the same thing. No, no, no. Like they have You're the saying same saying the same odds are even odds. Oh, yeah. I meant like they're like Plus 150, like plus 100. It'd be really surprising if Josh Allen was up there, but I guess like the books do look at the future and say like this this lines up. All right, James Stain. So glad we have nothing combined outside of Kyron. Ultimate <sighs> KC dude, zone. You took so much chalk. Dude, I don't change know, your man. picks, dude. I guess that zone is 12 and a half. Yeah, I feel like this happened to you last week too. What's 12 and a half? Arizona. Zona. Bro, I just looked this morning. All right. It's 12. How dare you? Pain. It's going to win out, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think um, Baltimore is an amazing pick. Why is it only three? A little weird. It's That is sketchy. I mean, it's in Jacksonville. But, like, Jacksonville, I just don't think has looked good. But they are getting healthy. Um, are they in a two-game losing streak? Jags. Jags. They yeah. lost to the Browns. They're winning this shit. Turn, change it. Change the pick. <laughs> you know, they, they flipped Arizona. <laughs> they're not the Baltimore losing Jacksonville. three in a row. 
Yeah. You bet, you bet KC like every week, I feel like. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Helps you guys out. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. I don't know if they, yeah, I bet them twice. I think I hit them on the Raiders. And I'm like, I'm going to keep you this did. up. And yeah. then this. It hasn't worked since. I think this is not a bad spot, but I think it's like a, it's, I think it's a losing bet in the long run over time. Like laying this many points with the Chiefs who just historically don't cover numbers like this. The under in that game feels out of control. Oh, this game? I feel like. No, like, Washington just gives up 35 points every week, no matter who they're playing against. To be honest, if you were to choose a side, though, I'd probably go under rather than over. I would, too, just the so points are so high. fucking high. Yeah. There's probably better ones. I had the Bears-Browns over. Over. But it moves on, like... I like the Tennessee-Houston under. It's like 38, I think. I didn't take it, but... I, th- I thought about going Pittsburgh-Colts over. Again, Miami, I just think... Oh, they're playing the always, Jets. This always doesn't matter. Don't care. Brother. The rest of the way. I'm not thinking about it. Okay. It's a yeah. locked in square. Same thing with a- ATL Atlanta. defense is pretty nice. That one's a low total. I just need a pick. And We're so going to lose. Bat, yeah, you are. We're so pa- Panthers lose. plus three is an amazing bet. I don't know about all that. It is. No, I know. Um, but bad weather, too, in that game. It's supposed to be 1.7 inches of rain per hour. Carolina? In Carolina. You know what? I think... Per hour. Per hour, one point seven. You know, you know what's how many considered times Miles Sanders is going to fall probably behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, seven per carry. That is kind of like the perfect game though for Carolina. Just won. that's what I mean. Bad weather they at home. Atlanta can't use their best piece of the offense and throw three hundred yards. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Jalen Hurts against Seattle, I think, is pretty nice. Yeah, stack with AJ Brown. If I still had him, yeah. that one I thought. I'm a little surprised no one went with that. Maybe Gut did, but like. That's all. That's kind of like the Ravens. It's like sketchy three. Yeah, I, it's kind of weird not knowing Geno's status too. Sure, I think Geno's like playing though. I, I don't think that's. Week. I don't think that's a guarantee. No, that's Good fair. Play. I don't know, but I was. I but like, either way, Geno doesn't like, play. Like I'm taking Philly minus three, obviously. Sure, but that's why it's like kind of sketchy. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hang, gutter stains. Hang. Ooh, okay, so he also took Denver and Tennessee. the same gold, silver, offense, defense, QB running back. He took Puka. Took Puka over Cooper. Interesting. He took the he took your over, yep. Chicago, Cleveland, Baltimore minus three and a half. You had minus three, so someone's wrong here. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to guess it's you. I'm going to I'm gonna think check. it is three. A two-time culprit. Are, are we, you got to be using FanDuel. We decided FanDuel is our book that we're using. I am. Okay. Honestly, Gut made it first, though, so he probably... Yeah, he might have got it wrong. Um, he might be treating it like his Twitter picks. Yeah, t- he saw it on TikTok. Like, it is it at... Like gut picks. These are guys he, for teams he backs. It's pretty accurate with Denver. It spreads at three. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so Gut's a fraud. Yeah. Uh, so we have two Dude, CMCs. So Doesn't matter, I guess, God, though, because like you said, it still goes up. The same wait, did you, wait, fuck, who did you take at running back? Kyron. Okay, so we have Kyron... You guys want CMC. I feel like Kyron's going to outscore CMC. I need it so bad. I mean, I just don't have CMC to use anymore. It doesn't matter, like, what you do. Well, the reason I wanted to use Kyron really bad was because I was like, everyone's going to use C-Mac this week, I feel like. But then, again, they play Washington in Week 17. And, like, if you still have C-Mac there, it's like, Jesus Christ. Also, are are the Niners even, like, playing for something at that point? I mean, no team takes a bye in, like, the second. Or no team benches. Josh Allen, Bills might, with the way they're playing. So, J-Mo, this is... Where you could do a lot of damage. If the Rams flop. If the Rams flop and Eagles soar. I know. And, well, none of my spreads are yours besides the Guts bronze. Like that's yeah. Not gonna yeah, if the Rams flop, you'll, get, you'll, you'll jump on both of us. However. Denver, though. It is, it is the Commanders. So, if they beat up on the Commanders, you might be walking in a spot. Big Brian Robinson, eat the clock, control <laughs> the pace of the B-Rob ain't even going to play. Antonio Shit, Gibson. Gibson. Until you get some day. Chris Rodriguez, Hang. Ron Rivera, coach of first life. That's not a bet I care about. Mm-hmm. No, not mm-hmm. at all. <laughs> that does make me feel good about mm-hmm. Washington. Mm-hmm. Enough. What about um, this? Is the two two week? Oh yeah, it's two two two. two ain't even gonna play. Is he? He got a concussion. So did you first take play. Stafford? I took Stafford. All Every, three of you have Stafford. Wow. All three of us have Stafford this week. Um, and then we all have a Ram wide receiver. Ron Hurts. All over the Hurts. <laughs> Most interesting well, game this week. Thinking. Bills Dallas best game of the week, gotta be Who's Monday night. Monday night Seattle Seahawks or Seattle Philly. Who's Sunday night then? Baltimore Jacksonville. That one's gonna be a good one. Could too. be good. Yeah. It's a good game. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like like they're not like blockbusters, but Broncos Lions is good. I love that Packers Bucks. I feel like is a meaningful game. 
Packers Bucks. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you got uh, you like, got the like Packers. Six best game of the day. That's like a pretty good. game. If all quarterbacks were healthy, there'd be a lot of good games on the schedule this week. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, what about Denver Detroit? So I took that as my over. I feel like both of the Detroit running backs are going to fucking smash. Like I'm kind of surprised no one took them. I thought about going Gibbs or Monty. I'm so bad about like like that. Like I don't want to pick, so I'll pick neither. <laughs> same, same thing with the Rams. I'm like, I just have you ever picked it. someone that you thought was going to be good? Like, you ever picked someone you wanted on these slips before? Kyron. I feel I feel good about Kyron. Yeah, Kyron's so a good one. Like, like, what was it, two weeks ago where I put up, like, Hal, Jalen Warren, Adam Thielen? I'm like... Fire. What was it? <laughs> like, it would have been good to just burn them a whole. We should look at some of the worst slips of the year. It. Like, Have there been any zero-point slips? No. I don't sure. think so. Don't think I think there, there had to be one or two. Gut was wild in the beginning of the year, dude. That's fair. All right. Take us away. Take us away, Jama. All right. This is our 15th video. Three more till me and someone else go to Africa. You, Jamaica. Jamaica, Queens. Jamaica, Queens. Check us out. Leave your predictions. Predict who will be with me. Peace. Hang. Hang.